Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, Scorpios. Uh, Scorpio, you know that this is general readings here. I am not in control of your happiness. You know that is on you. So you cannot hold me once again accountable for what comes out <laughs> in these readings. You and only you control who or what comes into your life because you are the magician of your life and a beautiful brown-eyed tarot reader certainly does not hold your life and your love and your happiness in their hands. It's on you, Scorpio. I am merely here to pull the energy to give you a heads up of the possibilities that could possibly be coming your way. Basically, this is for entertainment purposes, okay? Especially if you don't use your own intuition and your own judgment on this reading, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, thank you guys so much. Uh, now, let's see. Now, I'm going to start this reading off, Scorpio, now. This is a, 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 a nice manifesting deck here, which is the spell casting. So, it's like it tells you what you need. Look, financial health. Ooh, that's a good, ooh, that's some good energy. It helps you. It, it tells you, like... It's kind of like to me the chakras, you know, like if you're if you're trying to manifest something here and you're having a problem manifesting it, then it could very well be that something internally is off like your chakra, your vibration is not hitting right. It's not balanced. So I feel like this, this is this, whatever the car comes up means that the universe is trying to show you how to get that in your manifesting way, because that's all spell casting is now. You could call it a tomato. And I could very well call it a tomato. You could call spell work your way. You know, there's different levels of spell work. Spell work could be just you using your meta, uh, your, your, your mental, uh, you speaking things out here. Uh, you using your oil, Wh whatever your spiritual thing is, believe it or not, everyone has that. Everyone has the ability to manifest. And some people could call manifest magic because if you think about the magician card, the magician, what does the magician do? The magician does magic. When you go to any show and you see a magician, they're performing magic, okay? So that's ultimately what we're all doing. We're trying to perform this magician energy. And I feel like magician, for some people who are sensitive, it, it takes the edge off when, when all you really should be saying, let's perform this magic. But if you just say it like that, they're going to swear you a who They're going to swear you're doing dog shit and all this stuff like that. <laughs> but this your overall energy financial health so i feel like spirit wants to tell you something scorpio let's see because this your overall energy we do you got happiness here i feel like spirit is trying to tell you how to be happy how to manifest the the, the right energy that's going to be settled it's going to be at peace it's going to be unmovable. You're not going to be shaken. Your emotions are not going to take control over you. You are going to be in control over your emotions. And you're going to start living your best life. And you're going to be so happy. You're going to be so happy, Scorpio. Ooh, happiness. I like this, Scorpio. And then you have beauty. Now, I feel like beauty is something different here. I feel like beauty is, is talking about the inner beauty here. How you see yourself here. But I'm going to pull a couple more cards here because I'm going to read the just of these, Scorpio. Okay, some want to come out. Dreams. Are you a dream of Scorpio? I know I am. I have the ability of hearing something or thinking about something that I have a desire for and really, really dreaming it. After I get through dreaming it in my mind, I'm talking about I have every single detail of, uh, addressed. Everything that I can imagine, I do that. You have truth here. All right, Spirit, give me one more card for Scorpio's manifestations here. Uh, what, what is this magician energy that Scorpio needs to know and be aware of? Because Scorpio is very, very powerful, and Scorpio needs to tap into that, that inner power here that we all naturally have, but especially you, Scorpio, because you're Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, look at Spirit. Love so many people use your name in vain. Love, oh Scorpio, look at you now. You somebody about to make you happy. We just saw truth and we got answers. You got some of y'all Scorpios about to be found out all the answers that you've always wanted to know about. 
You're about to find out some truths here. Someone is about to give you some answers to some truths. So now let's start talking about these cards here. <clears throat> so, oh, Scorpio, the weather has been beautiful. It's storming today, but it's all a part of it. <laughs> it's just so weird here. It's like the energy is just it's just amazing when when you're tapping into it here. So it says, okay, so this financial health right here, and I'm gonna try not to make the video too long, Scorpio. So the magical meanings in this financial, well, let me read it first. It says you might find yourself drowning in a sea of red demands if you don't slow down and take stock of the mess you're in. Burying your head in the sand won't get you out of the hole. You're being urged to recognize that your avoidance, inexperience, or irresponsibility has become a liability and you can't afford to ignore your desperate situation. The worry, stress, and anxiety that accompanies debt has taken its toll and you don't know where to turn to. Acknowledgement and responsibility of the debt is the first step in the rule of magic. When weaving a spell to improve your financial health and become debt free once and for all. And that is so true because a lot of times, and that's just, that's not only with uh, finances, that's with uh, emotional damage. It seems like when you try to put it off because you don't want to address it, it never gets resolved and you're just carrying it, it's going to stay there. But when you face it, then it has to be resolved because you're dealing with it. So the magical meaning for this financial health. Now, this is your 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 way that you can manifest changes so that you're, if your finances have been kind of unhealthy, then the universe is trying to tell you how to manifest this so that it can be, so that you can become financially healthy, Scorpio. It says stop your act extravagance first of all stop overspending stop stunting and you know you ain't got it It ain't even necessary some things ain't even worth it buying right now stop your extravagance seek professional advice money owed is money paid off uh, expect a windfall someone is indebted to you have faith as your financial life heals so those are good things. Those are uh, magical meanings here. It's going to get better here because it says financial health, health. So that means that it's going to, it's, you know, it was challenged once upon a time, but it's going to, it's going to recuperate here. So now let's, let's deal in the, um, the dreams here. Let's, well, let's see what the dreams is right here. It says, look out into the night sky, Scorpio, and observe the constellations, constellations shining back at you. For it's the stars that point you in the right direction of your dreams. With this in mind, take some time to decide what is the, that wish uh, you want to come true. Whatever you choose at this time, Scorpio, will work out. Well, so take this opportunity to focus on a lifelong dream or ambition. Scorpio, go to bed with a sense of excitement. For you're going on a journey as you always do, whether you're aware of it or not. Acknowledge the dreams you have, for each are entwined with meaning and messages to assist you in your awakened state. Now, your magical meaning for this. Ooh, you also have some affirmation. Well, it says spells, incantations. But it says, gratefully, I accept the magic of you of protection to assist in all that I do. Lend me the, lend me the courage, build power in me, assist my transcendence, so mote it be. So it's got all types of stuff, but the magical meaning here, it says, pay attention to your dreams, Scorpio. Go to bed with a clear conscience. Keep a dream journal. A deceased loved one visits in the dream time explore lucid dreaming now this is what this dream represents this is beautiful energy that's what it's telling it's telling you prepare yourself when you want to answer and you want to tap into that spiritual realm go it's like you're preparing yourself to go to the other side but it's so beautiful because we all are a part of the other side. It's just that in this flesh this filthy obscene flesh of ours we forgot all about the spiritual we just we just Effed up in the flesh. 
But Spirit is telling you that's when your loved ones come to you, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Because I have been dreaming about so many relatives. Ooh, Scorpio, it is amazing. Now, let's check out happiness here. Ooh, Scorpio, you're about to be so happy. Or maybe you're already in this happiness energy. What, what, look, this happiness is timeless. It could be any time. I guess this happiness depends on you. Because it's going to be happiness around you. You just got to grab on of it. Okay, so this happiness energy for you, Scorpio. It says, in the quiet for happiness, in the quest, excuse me, for happiness, you need to decipher what it is that truly gives you a cheery disposition. This may be through a loving relationship, securing a top job, gaining popularity, acquiring new clothes, purchasing a shiny car, being surrounded by pets, or going on a holiday, yet the key to Yet the key to happiness is to see joy and perfection in absolutely everything, which in turn gives you a buzz of magic from deep within. The feeling of elation is what you wish to experience. So focus on the positive and be the one to turn frowns upside down. Get everyone smiling, Scorpio. When you choose happiness, your mood is elevated and you tap into a limitless supply of joy. Happy days. <laughs> That's what it says, Scorpio. Now, your magical meaning says, an event has a very happy outcome. <laughs> Make me want to bust out with my bongo, Scorpio. This is what it says. Now, the magical meaning for this happiness this is what you got in your energy, Scorpio. It says, an event has a very happy outcome. It says, actively seek out situations that are positive and uplifting. Good news arrives. Happiness is yours. A happy outcome is assured. <laughs> Happiness is a bad mama, daddy, shut your mouth. Ain't it though? Happiness to shut it down. This type of happiness, Scorpio, and the only thing you have to do is have it. The only thing you need to do is to be in this energy, Scorpio, is to actively seek out situations that are positive and uplifting. You have to go seek happy shit. You got to surround yourself that things are going to lift you up because it says good news arrives. Happiness is yours. A happy outcome is assured. Ooh, that's a beautiful, powerful energy. And you see how simple it is? That's really simple. It's telling you all you got to do is just choose to be happy. It's telling you to pursue uplifting things that's going to put a smile on your face, that's going to give you some hope. Anytime you have hope, you're going to always be happy. When you start losing hope, then you start getting sad. But for you, Scorpio, you have happiness, which is going to help your financial health because a lot of your dreams are manifesting, Scorpio. You're the magician. Now, last but certainly not a least, it wouldn't be a reading if it didn't tap on that love thing. I say they love you, love you. They love you, Scorpio. They always love you, Scorpio. See, Spirit know you oh so well. Don't Spirit know you, Scorpio? Spirit, spirit know <laughs> well, I said Scorpio. <laughs> I was going to bust out with the jazz. <laughs> but spirit knows that you need love in order for you to be happy, Scorpio. Some of y'all, I'm just saying, this is how it is. All right, now let's read this love real quick. That is beautiful, Scorpio. Now, you know some, Yeah, you know you got to have love, Scorpio. You wouldn't be Scorpio without the love, yeah. All right, Scorpio. Now, the magical guidance for this here love for Scorpio. It says, the love that you seek is waiting to be made manifest. You'll know when it arrives, for love always looks for the best in others and is recognized in an instance. Love is your true nature and it's necessary for you to honor the compassion you feel in your heart. When you're true to yourself, Scorpio, your light shines brightly 
with divine love, nourishing you from within and inspiring those around you. Heartbreak, loss, and rejection has caused your heart chakra to shrink and your fears have become guarded and defensive. But have faith, Scorpio, for a little magic will bring about that satisfaction your heart requires in order to be whole. <laughs> I tell you, Spirit, trying to get you some love, child. Oh, Scorpio, that's so sweet. See, Spirit knows. See, you know, a lot of people can't handle you. They can't handle your love because you take it so personal. It's like when, when you've gotten your heart broken, Scorpio, you feel like it's the whole end of the world. And Spirit be up there just shaking his head like, child, I got you. It's not that bad, my child. But then Spirit does not. It, it's like it's natural because you created this way. We, we, we just surprise ourselves. But in our divine essence, it all makes sense. Everything falls in place. It says heartbreak, loss, and rejection has caused your heart chakra to shrink. And your fears have become guarded and defensive. But have faith, Scorpio, my lovely, lovely Scorpio. For a little magic will bring about that satisfaction your heart requires in order to be whole. It says work with a rose. Now, this is your magical meanings. It says work with a rose quartz crystal. Now, I know everybody should have a rose quartz crystal. See, it's something about this. See, I just, it, it's just so, I guess it's really who, he that has an ear or an eye understands because you have to try the spirit by the spirit. It is a spiritual thing. And everybody take some people takes it take it the wrong way because we've been in in this box for so long. Some people can't think outside of of the box that they were forced in. Some people are not free spirited, and it's okay. But it's just like it, it's just telling you that I, I'm telling you these rose quartz, these crystals that they have a meaning here. It doesn't mean that you're doing some dark art shit because you. It's like we're so programmed with the electronics of the world. When what we really need to heal is the natural elements of the world. And that's for real. So it says work with rose quartz crystal. Accept and believe in who you are, Scorpio. It's safe both to give and receive love. Honor your true feelings is what it's saying, Scorpio. It's what it's saying, Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, that's beautiful. Now, let me pull these tarot cards. That's beautiful, Scorpio. This is beautiful energy for you. Ooh. Ooh, Scorpio. All right, now, I've already uh, did my thing. Now, the overall energy here is Aries energy. This is fiery, passionate energy, action energy. Uh, but this is someone who is wise here. Uh, this could be a parent. Uh, this is someone who likes to take charge, take initiative, takes action, uh, works very good as a leading uh, soldier or a or someone who's in charge. Uh, you, you can rest for sure that, that the emperor going to take control of the whole platoon. I'm talking about you can leave them all in the emperor's hand and they're going to make sure everyone does exactly what they should do. But I also feel like this could also be you. This could be you in your emperor energy, Scorpio, where you're kind of masculine, you're laid back, and you did a lot of things. Uh, and you're, in a, you're finally in a place where you really can call your own freaking shots, man. And, and you should not have to apologize for that. I'm just saying. But let's see what's, what's up with this emperor, which is your overall energy here, Scorpio. This is uh, Aries energy, this emperor. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's love life? That's what we want to know about the love, Spirit. <laughs> Show me the energy coming towards Scorpio in love and in romance, something real and beautiful for Scorpio, Spirit. Scorpio wants real, beautiful love, Spirit. Ooh. The mother star. This is the yes. This is the mother star. I think this is this yes card here because you got Mother Star, you got Father Earth. This is, I feel like this is this is the yes card. Wait a minute. Where did my book say? Hold on, where did I put my book at? I cannot believe I didn't get that book. Is this the way? Oh, way 
wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse us. Oh, Scorpio, I apologize, honey. I did not have my book out here. I forgot this one. I believe Mother Earth deals with yes, and the Father believes um, deals with no. Your answer is here from the spiritual realm or from your spiritual parents. So let's see. Okay, so let's just see. Wait a minute. The creator. The mother star. See, the mother star says yes, and the creator says no. So this is like live the full life of the mind, exhilarated by new ideas, intoxicated by the romance of the unusual. But this is by Ernest uh, Hemmings way. This is how they describe the mother star energy. She, you can look at her energy and tell this is how she is because she's so sexy, but she looks complicated too. Maybe this is how people view you, Scorpio. They may feel like you're just so, such like a goddess energy, but you're so complicated. It's like you're so complicated. You're so com complicated made, but it is, it's, it's, it's just, um, Something that everyone would love to be a part of. The mother star's appearance, the strength, courage, and character you've gained along the way have made you into a unique and resilient person. It's time to step up and embody your full potential, Scorpio. Uh, the mother star holds a cup and a sword. Uh, her journey and soul exploration connect her in a balanced way to each suit. As if appearing, okay. Her guide, the gentle three eyed wing, embark on this new chapter of transformation. So, the path that has led you to here, you are today, has been full of twists and turns. There may have been times when you've doubted yourself, Scorpio, and lost faith in your guides, but your guides want you to know that it is yes. They've always guided you. They've always protected you. They've always been there with you. You just got to step up and live your life like you're protected and like it, like you, you know, if, if we all could live our life in the full energy, just naive innocence, but, but we, we let fear stop us, but it's, it's, it's telling you, you have, a you have divine guidance here, a feminine divine guidance here over you. It's yes. She, she supports you. This feminine energy supports you, whether you male or female, this, this, this mother star energy supports you spiritually. So you have everything you need to be successful. And she's a very sensual type of energy as well. It's like she's sensual and she don't have to apologize for being, you know how sometimes you're a beautiful woman and you feel like you have to apologize because you're beautiful because people can't handle that. Or you're successful and you have to feel like you have to apologize because you're successful. This says goals, potential, success. So the seven of pentacles here, Scorpio. I feel like y'all are really, you, 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 uh, you're heading towards your goals. You're really putting in that work here. You've planted. I feel like you've come, a, you've come some ways here. Now, you know you have because you already see something coming in here. It, it may not be fully where you want it to be, but you can see it coming because the seven of pentacles mean that there is something here. There is something to gain out of this. So something is working for you, but I feel like it's only the beginning for you because you have, especially, uh, I feel like for, for the, for the feminine Scorpio, because you have this, this goddess type of energy supporting you for the masculine Scorpios. I feel like you're going to have the same feminine goddess uh, covering over you, but it's going to kind of calm you. It's going to calm the masculine, but for the women, it's going to help you be open in who you are as the sensual side of this goddess. Uh, this this kind of very enticing, sexy, beautiful energy here. Look, the tiger got the third eye. This is your look. Ooh, look at y'all. This is what y'all trying to get. Ooh, Scorpio, see. Oh, I tell you, Scorpio, see, once again, Scorpio, it's a whole lot of money in this. 
it's a whole lot of money in the Scorpio's world. Scorpio, y'all trying to get you good. But see, you got that spiritual, you got your, you got your feminine energy. Your divine feminine energy is really over you. It's like it's encouraging you to go head on and be free. Don't worry. Let, let the you do, do you understand? It's like you've been having to fight this fight so long to get the things that you should naturally come to you. But since it's a lesson, it feels personal. But you've had to fight so hard emotionally till I feel like you got this goddess energy, this the sexy goddess energy here. Uh, that's supporting you to make it easy for you. She's she's bringing this sim this feminine energy in to make it easy for you, Scorpio. Now for the masculine energy, it's for the masculine energies who feel alone and feel like they need that feminine energy around, but they may have not found that energy. This is to hold you over and to direct you to the one who you need to be to get that from, on on a physical level. But it's just like telling you, Scorpio. You know, it says goals, potential, success. This is guaranteed. And look, you got it right here, Scorpio. You got it right here. What this say? This says inheritance, family, property. So see, look. Mm, mm, mm. The property, you already got property of some sort that you're already investing in. And with the success, it's going to be successful. Oh, and like like the car say, some of y'all about to get an inheritance here. Some of you, some of you, oh Scorpio, I just seen somebody who, when they was a when they was a when they was a youngster, they used to be out there uh, helping helping Paul Paul them planting the garden and all that shit for the summertime when they used to go stay with them, and they used to help them plant all of that stuff. All of the, the corns and all of the asparagus, all of the, the veg, vegetations, all, all this property here. And all of this property is going to be yours. It's going to be yours. And the good thing about it is that you were preparing for it when you was a kid and you had no idea that this will one day become your responsibility. Because you're going to get it. It's like what they say, train your child. when You got to start training them when they're children. It's like this is something that was already invested. It's something you had already started on as a kid, I feel like, because you've always had support around you. This is the legacies that, that you deserve, Scorpio. You're going to also start meeting people who are into the same thing, where they believe in uh, building things. They believe in, in really, I'm talking about people who believe in property. I'm talking about people who are successful here. People who achieve their goals. People who actually do it. You're going to be in the, that energy with these type of people because you're going to become one of them. You're going to become one of them, Scorpio. I just see prosperity and commitments here. Ooh, Scorpio. And you got some hell of a spiritual support with you. You got that feminine and you got that divine feminine energy to me. That's, that's like that goddess, uh, the goddess energy. The sensual goddess energy is what I see. Look, the fool card. It says purity. Didn't I just say you, some Scorpio should just be like the fool card where you just say, screw it. Let me just stop being so worried. Let me just stop being so afraid. Because every time I start being afraid, I start doubting myself. You think that, look, if you think that doubt plays in your mind, just you know, it's the whole freaking world, everybody. If it does to everybody, as long as you you got this flesh here, you, you it's gonna it's gonna the the battle the battle is within. It's that spiritual warfare that people take lightly. It, that's real. That's on a daily daily basis. That's why you gotta constantly constantly pray and meditate. You got to always stay spiritually elevated. You got to stay in that spiritual uh, uh, realm in order to fight what's down here externally because we in this flesh. <laughs> you stop eating and stop crapping and all that shit and see what happens to your body. Your spirit going to hurt and leave that vessel in. It's a, we got we got a putrefied vet vessel that we have to deal with. But, you know, just imagine if you can just be in that energy where, where you like, man... Especially with that emperor energy underneath the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, like you taking control, you bossing up, you taking life by the horn. You're gonna, you know, you gonna you're gonna go in the direction that is for you. You you're bossing up is you, and so you know you're gonna start being carefree. You're gonna start taking more leaps of faith. You're gonna get out there because I feel like you got support. You're gonna feel it. 
You got you got this 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 mother star who is inspiring you. What does the star do? We know the star is hope, is healing, is wishes being fulfilled here. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's all those beautiful uh, uh, inspirational cards. So this is exactly the energy that is coming to you spiritually. This your mother stars. As it says, yes, this is what they're sending for you. You can't help but to be successful, Scorpio. But you have to think that. Remember about this love. Remember about this happiness. Remember about your financial health. Remember about your dreams. Your ancestors are talking to you. Pay attention to your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Start start thinking like a wealthy person because you got wealth here. You know, you wealthy. You got the Ten of Pentacles, inheritance, family, property. This is this, it's like you got you, you're starting to prepare for this wealthy type of lifestyle, Scorpio. What is ooh, look at the magician card. Oh, <laughs> it just fell out. The magician and the freaking ten of cups. Don't play with me, Scorpio. You got the ten of pentacles and the freaking ten of cups. Oh, Scorpio. See? The magician card tells you I have the power. If I take action, I can use my skill. Oh, Scorpio. That didn't look, didn't we just talk about that? It's like look, ten of cups. It say prosperity, joy, family, contentment. See there, Scorpio? This is what you have. Ooh. You manifesting your ass off, Scorpio. That's what you should be doing, manifesting, Scorpio, because this is what you're doing. I see I see the Pisces and the Aries here. Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with that Seven of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups, and Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. We know, we know, we know. Look, and there go the Ace of Wands. Of course, you're going to have an Ace of Wands. This is not a reading without an Ace of Wands. Go, ooh, and now look at the Chariot card. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. I ain't going to pull no more that way because you ain't going to want to see this card. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is some tough-ass energy. This is deep. This is really deep. The Ten of Cups, the Chariot card, some of y'all dealing with the Cancer. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Can y'all see this? Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. That's so nice, Scorpio. It's nice. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot, the Mother Star, the Fool. You got the Seven of Pentacles, the Magician, and the freaking Ace of Wands. Ooh, Scorpio. This is nice. What you got going on, Scorpio? Some of y'all is on y'all manifesting shit, Scorpio. Where that card that dreams is a part of manifesting, Scorpio. It's like spirit telling you, you have everything on the inside of you to change your life, Scorpio. Change it. What are you afraid of? Take a leap of faith. Go outside of the box. Do something you've never done before. Be risque as for your happiness. Don't you deserve to be happy? Don't you deserve to take a risk or to bet on yourself? And whatever that may be, only you know that. But I'm just saying, you're worth taking a risk on. Man, you might as well go on and do a shit. We all could be getting laid this time next year. <laughs> we all could be on the beach and shit, kicking it. I'm just saying, we all might be booed up too. That's all. If we all was to manifest on a group level like that, where everybody's thinking positive, shit, this time next year, we could all look at this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Come on now, Scorpio, with the Ace of Wands and the Magician and the freaking Fool, Scorpio, with love and happiness, <laughs> financial help and mother freaking dreams. She don't think we can't get it done. So collectively, I'm just saying maybe y'all should receive this shit. I'm going to send this to you, Scorpio, receive this. Because if uh, we all think like this, then we all can be kicking it with our... <laughs> getting that bag this time next year or it could be any time oh scorpio scorpio this is beautiful i heard that shit scorpio that feminine energy ain't playing this feminine energy know how to get that shit to you look at look at your mother star she said yes to everything here look page of source somebody's watching you Somebody is watching you, Scorpio. I wonder who watching you, Scorpio. Now, who is watching you, Scorpio? Who watching you? Who keeping tabs on you? Somebody, somebody's keeping tabs. Somebody, look, 
out of all this abundant ass shit coming on now, 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 here we go. So, so some of y'all dealing with the cancer, you got the Aries here, you got the Pisces. So now I feel like, cause this says what is, it says in uh, student, intelligent, charm, ambition, curiosity. So someone is curious about you being Scorpio. It could be a cancer because it's sitting right here next to this. Someone is probably curious about you about starting uh, someone a career. Someone, it, ooh, there's some try. Look, this Ace of Wands says career beginnings travel. And look at this chariot card. It says journey, success, progress. This is a journey that someone is about to take, Scorpio. Somebody for about to travel or take some type of journey. Oh, so y'all manifesting so much stuff in here. This is crazy. You're manifesting so much stuff in here. And this magician says power, action, skill. Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This is what I see. Now, I'm going to have to break it down. I know I'm going to have to clarify. So let me go on and clarify, Scorpio. Let me, let me see what I need to clarify here. I, I like to keep the same energy, though. I'm going to keep the same energy. If I need to pull some more cards, I'll pull them. I like these cards. So what's going on? What's up with this page of swords? Now, for some of y'all, you're going to go back to school. Some of y'all guys are going to go back to school uh, in another state somewhere. You got to travel there. And uh, you're going to college somewhere or so you're going to do something, you're going to do real good. Some of y'all finna travel to move in with somebody or someone's finna travel to move in with you. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. To have this Ace of Wands, this new beginning. And like some of y'all finna travel for a job because it says career beginnings travel here. In this full card, look, ooh, this is beautiful. All right, Spirit, let's clarify this page of swords. What is this page of swords about for Scorpio, Spirit? And Scorpio's love and romance, Spirit. Thank you for this beautiful reading, Spirit. Show me what this page of swords is about for Scorpio. Let's clarify this page of swords for Scorpio. Ooh. Page of swords. The world here. So you may be, some of you Scorpios may be getting a lot of attention here from all over. You may have an online thing. You may be online on social media. I feel like a lot of people are watching you online because it says, it says reward, success, completion. So I feel like somebody, somebody's watching you online. A lot of people watching you online. Your platform is, is, all over the world and it's going to continue to grow and somebody else is watching you someone who uh you've had a completion with a uh, ending with but they're watching you receive your rewards and your success someone is watching you receive rewards and success scorpio they're watching you get your just dues. They're watching you get that somebody who is no you're no longer involved with because if the cycle completed, I feel like you ended a cycle. You completed a hard ass cycle with somebody, and as a result, you get to uh enjoy your su success and your rewards. And someone is watching you. Someone's watching you get that. Someone's watching you, Scorpio. Somebody watching you. Clarify this world card for the page of swords for Scorpio. Could be a Taurus. Six of Pentacles. Give, receive, family. Now, this is someone who obviously wants you to give to them because they're watching you. Someone who wouldn't mind being with you in some type of family sin or someone who, because this cycle already over with them. This is somebody who wants want some type of partnership with you here they want a equal give and take relationship with you scorpio Ooh. now what's up with this ace of wands for scorpio ace of wands is clarified by the queen of swords here so this is a career somebody's focused on their money though i see a lot of career energy a lot of new job energy here i feel like <laughs> 
Scorpio, most of y'all not focused on no relationship because this is another career mind. This, this is <laughs> this is serious type of energy. This ain't no I want to play with you type of energy. You know you serious because you got goals you're trying to ob 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 obtain. You're trying to get to a certain level here. And I feel like you're doing whatever you have to do to get it. And sometimes, and I just feel like either you're happy Either some of y'all are, are trying to really build your money because you're about to buy your new home here. Some of y'all about to open up a hell of a brand, a, a big time business here. And you're going to take this leap of faith. Some of you guys are buying a new car with this chariot card, a nice luxury car. I feel like somebody's on their, on their manifesting shit. Some of y'all doing some hell of a spell work and some of y'all just doing on natural manifesting, but you're really focused on it. Now, this Queen of Swords is very serious for this Ace of Wands. So, see, this says career be uh, beginnings, travel. Some of y'all are focused on your career. <laughs> Shit. You ain't focused on nothing else. Your new passion beginning is on you because you're making money. You, you, you're trying to uh, snag the bag so that you can be secure because you realize that when you focus on you and your career, your stability you don't get hurt like that. You you win. You level up like that. All right, Spirit, clarify this Queen of Swords for this Ace of Wands. And then some of y'all in this, look, King of Cups. Ooh. I feel like someone, somebody wants this with you, though, Scorpio. Someone who is in love. <laughs> Oh my God, Scorpio. Now this may be for some of you masculine. Some of you Scorpios are in this masculine energy of King of Cups where you you ain't you only studying, you only worried about you still have love, but you're not just putting your emotions out there. You're a career uh focus here. You some of you have to travel back and forth to work and you just wanna you you want everything to be clear. You don't want any distractions or any interruptions. So you just focus on relevant things. And for some of y'all, you focus on your career and, and, and uh, you know, your career in this Queen of Swords energy, but someone is focused on a new beginning with you. And, and, <laughs> and this Queen of Swords energy makes them fall in love with you even more because I feel like they know you. They're like, yeah, I hear you talking all this shit. But I know you got a cup, too. I know you got a big, juicy, sweet-ass cup of love. I said, a cup of Scorpio love, baby. And all that short-ass talk you trying to talk about, you're always busy. You're just busy, busy, busy nowadays, Scorpio, huh? Is that what you want us to believe? <laughs> They're not bad, because they like, uh-huh, I hear you. So what about this weekend, then? If this person's intuitive here, they're, they're very charismatic. They're warm-hearted. They ain't going nowhere. They got the highs for you. They got a soft spot for them, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, they keep... Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh, this person has a soft spot in their heart for you. It's, it's one spot designated specifically for you. And you all hard and shit. And they ain't studying them. But they still got this soft spot in their heart for you, though, Scorpio. Ooh, child. Scorpio, this, ooh, this is beautiful energy. It's like you trying to play that. And some of y'all not focused on no love right now. This is why the lo love came back. It's like, uh, uh, excuse me, Scorpio, you remember me? I said all them times you done cried over this and that one and that one. And, and now you don't want us now. So, so, so you don't want love. So, so you're done with it now, huh? <laughs> now let's see what's up with this chariot card. Some of y'all dealing with a cancer. Somebody trying to make this journey. They want success. They want progress. They want to see where this can work out because it could very well be that someone who is in love with you, you could be focused on your new beginnings and, and your creativity and what you're creating for yourself and your new passion of beginnings and your ideas, what you want to do for yourself. Meanwhile, you got somebody over here in love with you and they want everything, which they said they want it all. Yo, they want the Ten of Cups and the freaking Ten of Pentacles along with the food car and the freaking chariot card okay i'm just saying <laughs> all right spirit clarify the chariot card for scorpio like i said that some of y'all scorpios dealing with another water sign you're dealing with this uh uh scorpio this cancer because you see the king of cups so it's other water and some of y'all scorpios dealing with another water sign because i see this other water in here all right spirit clarify the chariot for scorpio 
chair is clear. Ooh, clarifying by the ace of pentacles. It make it just wanna whoa, whoa, whoa. Scorpio. Ooh, see, this reading is clowning. Look at all this money. <laughs> Ooh, look at all this money, Scorpio. You got the Six of Pentacles. You got um, the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Seven of Pentacles. Now you got the freaking Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, this person coming in, Scorpio, with an offer. Some, some of y'all got a cancer trying to come in with a big-ass offer. They ain't coming in with no, look, with no idea and just want to chat with you. <laughs> You know, like, Scorpio, tell me what you think about this. <laughs> then don't get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> they coming in with the shit. They coming in with a bright idea that's going to, they going to set it off in this mother, okay? <laughs> with the cherry card and the freaking Ace of Pentacles, it says prosperity. It says uh property. <laughs> Ooh. It says new beginnings. No, it says beginnings. Prosperity, property, begin. Look, they go that property again. Somebody trying to buy some property. You got two properties. Look, the ace. Ooh, look at ooh, 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 ooh. This is still money, much, baby. Ooh, Scorpio. Some of y'all about to buy your first land. You're about to buy you some property. For some of y'all, you're about to get inherited. A whole bunch of property. You got property right there. And I say you got the properties right there. I said the property right there. Everybody got the property right there. Everybody you got property uh, everywhere. Scorpio, you got property uh, everywhere. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, you got property everywhere, honey. Did you know you had all that room to plant your carrots? Your cucumbers, your thyme, your garlic, your onion, your tomatoes. Ooh, Scorpio, you got all that land if you want to put you a triple quadruple wide with a jacuzzi, with a swimming pool in the back and all of that. You can't because you got property. I said a property. I said can't nobody do it like Scorpio with Scorpio property. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, who the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I said this pinnacle world over here is Scorpio's world. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, I don't know why I'm tripping. I'm tripping. This is a this is just this is exciting. This 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 riled me up. All of this, you got all this major shit going on. You got the freaking magician and the fool. Not to mention the heavy hitter, the one who started it all. That's the mother star. That's the goddess, feminine, uh, sexy mama type of energy. Put that thing on her, make her uh, marry you. See, Scorpio, she gonna tell you, this feminine, this mother star gonna put the help you put that thing on, and she gonna tell you how to do it. Cause after all, they already here. Look, look, this what they want right here. <laughs> Oh, she finna tell you how to get them. That's what she finna tell you. And for some of y'all, it's somebody coming back, someone who the cycle done already completed. It's already over with them. But you know, you, you, you know. And for others, you may have more than one pursuer here because you got the freaking fool card. You got the ace of pentacles. You got the ace of wands here. You got um the world card here. The world card represents completion and then beginnings. It's, it's, you got beginnings everywhere. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, we child Scorpio. This chariot clarified the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, we. It's some somebody finna get some money. I feel like I'm talking to some wealthy ass Scorpios. Okay, I'm talking to some wealthy Scorpios. Well, congratulations, Scorpio. <laughs> congratulations, Scorpio. You deserve it, okay? <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles for the chariot card for Scorpio. Got me up here acting silly. And the money make you act crazy, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> Ooh, shit. 
when that money start dangling in line, you get to act on a freaking fool. If they got a fool car, you get to act on a fool with that money, Scorpio. <laughs> because I know Scorpio has worked hard to get it, you see. And that magician card, it didn't come easy. Four of cups here. Now, someone is not happy. Someone's not happy in their life until they get you back. This person, you since you're not talking to this person, Scorpio, they ain't nothing. They done lost the flavor. They can't even taste their food. They, they taste buzz left when you left, Scorpio. It says yearning. You got me yearning. This person is yearning for you, Scorpio. They're bored because you was the excitement in their life. But you don't care now, Scorpio, because you're focused on your goals. You're focused on your goals with the seven of pentacles and this queen of swords and this ace of wands. You focus on trying to get that bag. I say you're trying to get other bag, Scorpio. <laughs> now they are they miserable. They want you, Scorpio, but you don't even care. They're in their feelings over you, but your focus is not on them. Ooh. Maybe it's going to change. So let's see what's up with this Ten of Cups, though. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess. Dun, 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 dun. Some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. <sighs> Secrets, dreams, wisdom, inner voice. Ooh. So some of y'all intuitively, y'all feel this. And some of y'all may be in love with this person here. Some of y'all feel like this is going to come back together. Some of y'all feel, maybe y'all feel the yearning of this person here. Maybe this person is yearning for you. Maybe this person is picking at you. Uh, maybe this is someone's dream. This is someone's dream. They want this tin of cup. They fantasize about this. <laughs> This is what they're doing. They're fantasizing about having this life with you, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh. This is what they're doing. They're fantasizing about this Ten of Cups with you, child. Ooh, Scorpio. Ooh. It says secrets, dreams, wisdom, inner voice. See, this person is really, this person is on one over you. It's almost like this person could be full of illusion but this person could low-key they're trying to manifest you this is probably why the magician card here and for some of y'all this person is using some type of love spell they're doing something while they're calling you they're trying to call you in here because this is what they're doing this is what they're secretly doing they're dreaming of you they're they're, they're using their inner voice and they're trying to talk to you spiritually they're trying to engage your energy to them they want you connected to them. Ooh, clarify this high priestess here. Ooh. Why is this high priestess here for the Ten of Cups? Eight of Swords. Because, see, you're stuck on this person's mind. That's what it is. This is why they're using their inner voice, their spirit world. They're using this. They're trying to get to you spiritually. <laughs> and they're trying to get to you spiritually to have you on them because they want to come to you physically they're trying to prepare they're trying to engage with you spiritually scorpio this is a spiritual person this, this is a high priestess this someone who does that type of shit you're dealing with some of y'all dealing with a high priestess frustration anxiety traps see they're frustrated without you they're not happy without you either Ooh, now clarify this magician card for scorpio Ooh. The magician, ooh, is clarified by death. Ooh, shut up. Transformation, new beginnings, endings. Well, I'm sure it's already ended, so this person is trying to begin again. Begin again. This person's trying to begin again. Look, that's what they're trying to do, begin again. This person, ooh, Scorpio, some of y'all person working spell. They're a high priestess or a magician. You got the high priestess and the magician card, Scorpio. What you think? Ooh, Scorpio, do you see this? Let me show you now. You got the high priestess and the freaking magician. This is your person's energy. Both of these energies. This is what they want with you and the magician card. Not to mention the magician. What you think they doing? 
I, I, I wait. Well, what you think they doing? What you think they're doing to you? <laughs> Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh. This person is stuck on you or this person may want maybe doing work on you so that you'll be stuck on them and you won't let them go, Scorpio. Ooh. Oh my God, Scorpio. But this is it says frustration, anxiety, trapped. This person, this person may want you trapped on them. Cause this is a person is being held against their will. They acting like they can't see, but they can move. I feel like they want you this way. And then they could, I feel like, because there's a lot of magic here. This person's doing a lot of magic. You got the death card. You got the magic card. And you got the freaking high priest, the Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, this person doing love spells on you. This person using magic on you, Scorpio. This person wants you back so bad. They're, they're using magic on you. See the card. You see the high priestess, the death card, and the magic card. This is what this person is doing. The high priestess and the magician card. This is what they're doing, Scorpio. They're doing this. Because they want you back. And this is the ten of cups. They want this life with you. <laughs> who, 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 who. The high priestess and the eight of swords for the ten of cups. This is you. Some of y'all dealing with a high priestess. Um, uh, uh, someone who delves in that type of stuff, who delves in, in, in spell work. That's what it is. That's just what it is. Ooh, Scorpio, clarify this death here. Ooh, clarify this death for this magician for Scorpio. Ooh. Look, didn't I tell you? Two of Cups, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you this person using spell work against you, Scorpio? They trying to get in your head. I knew it had to be a connection or for them trying to get in your head. This your soulmate. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, this is deep. Oh, Scorpio, this person trying to get, this person's working. Oh, my God, Scorpio. They are working spell work on you, Scorpio. And this your soul may your soul may work in spell magic on you, Scorpio. Your soul may work in magic on you. Cause they want you so bad. Cause they want you so bad. They want this ten of cups. They're in love with you. They're in love with you. Oof. Clarify this ten of pentacles here. What's up with this ten of pentacles for Scorpio? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Uh -oh. Scorpio, this is weird. You could have a Pisces, a Taurus. Uh, so you got the Four of Cups and the Three of Swords jumped out, but I'm not going to take them here. So you got... The Pisces here, you got a lot of Pisces. You got Scorpio, you got Aries, you got Cancer, you got Taurus, you got Pisces here. All right, so clarify this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? Ooh, these cards starting to fly out now. Damn. So you got the King of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here. They, I don't know if they <laughs> clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. This is getting weird. They want to pop out. This is weird. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody trying to come in here. Somebody trying to come in and bring a stable, solid offer to you. It says prosperity, benefits, investment. They're coming in to invest into a long-term relationship with you. They're going to come and put a ring on it, a ring on it, because your spirit, your mother told you how to get them to. Ooh, Scorpio, this is some crazy. I think this is why your spiritual, your goddess energy is, is helping you because they know this person's using magic on you. <laughs> They're, they doing magic against their soulmate, Scorpio. They doing this. They want this partnership with you. Ooh. 
They want you to give in to them, give in to their offer. They want you to reach out to them. They want you to be available to them. They want you to love them like they love you. They're coming in to give you something, though. It could be fixed. It could be... <laughs> <laughs> be careful because they're coming in to give you something. What? What is it? What is this investment? What, what? I'm saying if someone's coming to give you something towards something long-term here, then be careful. If, if it's a jewelry or something, I would be careful because this person is working love spells on you. I feel like it's love spells, but it's some type of spell, whether it's love or not. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. See all these pentacles in here, though. Somebody got some money. Look, what's that? Oh, this page of cups here. So someone is coming in. So this could be someone. It says, look, look this is what it say. It says magic, love, fun, magic, love, fun. <laughs> I told you. Oh, this person finna try. Oh, Scorpio, this say magic, too. This says magic, love, fun. Who this person is sending love your way? I'm telling you, this person is trying to get you. This person's gonna give you something that's full of magic. See, that like I just told you, be careful. There it is right there. Cause it says magic, love, fun. See, this is whatever they give you, it's gonna be magic attached to it. It's to make sure you receive their cup and you receive them. So you can love them back, Scorpio. They're gonna try to give you something that's got magic on the Scorpio. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, that's what I see. And I know that's the truth because I see it as clear as day. Oh, my God. Let's see what this fool card is about. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. The creator, look. Spirit, ooh, this one said no, though. So both, that's the mother star, but this is the creator. This is feminine energy, too. I guess it don't matter. But that, this one's saying no. So whatever this new beginning is, somebody's saying no. But I think this is telling you you have the right to say no if you don't want this with this person here. It says purity, potential, risk, innocence. See, it's telling you you have the right to deny this with the creator. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, see, it says the creator card signifies that there is a powerful Energy brewing in the atmosphere around you. It may feel overwhelming and tinge with undertones of darkness. <laughs> Damn. Indeed, you may feel the urge to run and find shelter from this storm, but trust that you are ready to transmute this force into something that will propel you forward on your path. This card is also here to remind you of the power of the word no to things that overwhelm or undermine. No to people who drain your life source. No to thoughts that drag you into despair. You are mightier than you think, and a glimmer of faith paired with solid intention can give you the power to harness lightning. Each day you have the choice to be the victim of fear and circumstances or the creator of a new consciousness. Choose wisely. See, I told you what's the no. It says that this, this card show up because something about to pop off here. That's what it say. It says something uh, immensely. Look, look, look at them lightning strikes. Something powerful is about to happen here, and you have no control over it. Oh, well, yes, you do. Oh, you have no control about what well, actually is telling you that your energy is going to start feeling uh, 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 pushed around and uh, kind of agitated and handled. And it's because this person is working spells on you. This person is using magic on you. And it's got to be love spells because they come in with all the love. They, they want you that bad because I feel like this is the only thing I see is that they're doing it. They're getting you through magic. And I don't think that's fair. Because I don't see them doing nothing wrong to you, nothing but they're using mad. They're not trying to abuse you or get over nothing. I don't see a third party. I just feel like this person wants you so bad. It must be someone that you don't want or don't want. I don't know. But it's telling you something is about to pop off and you have the control to take control of the situation. Say, don't be no victim if something is, is too overpowering to you. Because I feel like your, your energy, your, your desires are being compromised. They're not your desires. They're someone else imposing them on you. It's what is happening because somebody's doing the spell work, y'all. I don't care. I'm telling you what these cards say. Someone's doing magic on you. 
Clarify this. Give me one more card for the creator and the fool. Oh. Temperance. All in balance. All in moderation. That's what spirit is telling you. Don't let nobody throw you off your game. You had to heal. You had to get some shit together and don't let no, no, no tower moment that ain't got shit to do with you. That's how they feel. You don't feel like that because you focused on your ten of pentacles. You focus on long-term relationship, but this person is coming in with it. They're going to try to get you through spell work, Scorpio. They're going to do it. You got magic. You got all the spells. You got all of this, 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 this high priestess, magician energy in here. This person, you y'all dealing with somebody who delves in the, they, they do spell work. Okay. And they use it on you. And if they come with a gift, it's already dressed. It's this magic, love, fun. They got, they got, they, they're trying to get you. They, they want your love. They, they want your love at any means necessary. And for some of y'all, you're going to fall for it. You're going to fall for it, you know, because this your two of cups. This your two of cups. This is why you're going to fall for it. And who's to say you might be happy? Because this ain't no bad spread. Shit. I can't get mad. If, you know, I'm just saying this ain't nothing be, to be mad about. You got the ten of pentacles. You got the ten of cups. Shit. You got the two of cups. You got the ace of wands. You got the ace of pentacles. You got the chair. This is beautiful energy. You got all of this success and prosperity and property. It's a beautiful thing to have. But this is someone who is using spell work on you to get it, though. That's the only difference. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit your notification bell, leave me a comment. I love you so much. Scorpio, thank you guys so much for rocking with me, and I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.